Hey guys. Oh man, I had to make a new another vid. I pulled up this law and we've got a major event taking place, it looks like. And I would say it's still ongoing. We got elevated solar wind speed at 1720 UTC. Today, 1125, and it runs all the way to the very end. You can see 1056, that's the end of the run. Uh, zero, 00 UTC on the 26th. So we'll step it through a little bit slower for you. The highest one I saw was 16 something. So there's 1236. 1258, 945, 9, there's 1473, 1092. I mean, these are crazy numbers. 1245, 1364, 1079, 1135. These are at four-minute intervals. No missing time in here. We do have about an hour missing time. Around uh, 1400 UCC till 1500 UTC. So no telling what happened there. And they took that out. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and we're not done yet. Okay. Settled down a little bit. And blam. Another one. 11, 12. 1612 kilometers per second. So that's over. It's real close to 4 million miles per hour. This 400 kilometers per second is a little bit less than a million miles per hour. Forget the exact calculation. As you can see, it's staying up there. 1320, excuse me, 1251. Dropped down into the 8s, went back to 10, 9, 7, 7, 5. Well, that's an interesting looking one. But all this blue stuff, this is all plasma. And I put the link under. Sweetleaf505 asked me for the link for the proof of dark matter is not, not real, dark energy either, that we live in an electromagnetic plasma universe, and this is the plasma, all this blue stuff. So go back to the video this morning and just look at my reply under Don or Sweetleaf. 505's comment. Here, look at that. 12, 36, 11, 8, 11, 8, 10. So, I mean, as you can see, we got something going on here. So, I think this one might play into my hypothesis number two that we have some type of a. Uh, and here, I'll show you the missing time. See, 1400. And it jumps to 15. Solar wind speeds low. I mean, this is all re being recorded by these GOES 14, 13, and 15 satellites, and maybe some other ones in this geosynchronous orbit around the Earth at 22,236 miles. So it's not coming from the sun. And this is all being recorded inside our magnetopause around the Earth. These are the latest runs on the uh, Fock radiation belts at 100. 1,000 electron volts and 4 million electron volts. They don't quite go as deep as this run goes. They stop, I think, around 1,700 or something. You can watch this down here. It's getting ready to roll over. Yeah, so around 1,600 UTC it stopped. So we're not seeing uh, the rest of this stuff when the solar wind speeds went wackadoodle on us starting at 1720 <clears throat> but anyway here it is on this one so we got 17 well 40 rather that was 1720 wasn't it so anyway here's how it looks on the y cut now this is the y cut we're looking straight across the planet basically from a side position and this is like a cut plane inside the magnetosphere looking sideways at it 
and it's giving us a representation of what the magnetosphere looks like. That's why it's Y cut. The Z cut, on the other hand, that's looking straight down on the planet from like top to bottom. That's where you get your solar wind speed arrows, directional arrows rather, and you get the solar wind speed calculations. Here you get the polar cap field lines, which are the black streamers that normally stream away from the planet. <clears throat> this is the bow shock. I mean, this is huge. It's freaking way out there. Because there's another planet, the big planet in there. That would be my hypothesis number one. So I'm putting these under all the videos. And you have to click re on the reply underneath hypothesis, hypothesis number one to get my number two hypothesis on the solar wind speed which I think is tied into some type of a direct connect between the earth and nemesis back here when it's a coronal hole face in the earth so we're getting coronal hole speed hole stream wind speeds direct from nemesis whenever it, we have an event of this long duration it happened once before of about six hours five or six hours a couple weeks back that's when I came up with the hypothesis so anyway let's see how it looks here now these are all these field lines I've been telling you about interplanetary magnetic field lines they're blue normally they're only between a solar body and a planet because planets don't normally get that close to one another to swap field lines but obviously there's a planet out here and it's will be embathed with its magnetic field lines as you can see there and these are all these when the solar wind speed's been up these are all the ways that our planet's trying to ward off all this extra energy coming in from behind you can see it here look at the uh, magnetopause it's going all spaghetti doodle on us see that so, I mean, we got some serious chaos going on around the planet. <clears throat> and it's not over because the last frame on here showed 1056 kilometers per second on the solar wind speed. I mean, look at that. And it just doesn't quit. The energy behind the planet just doesn't quit. It's there. And it's not going anywhere. So this is when the high-speed solar wind first started at 1720 but as you can see there's a bunch of stuff building back there and even prior to that and here's the missing time from 14 and then to 15 I mean <laughs> it doesn't look too good on here but uh, I mean I'm no telling what happened maybe this thing got blown to shreds this magnetopause <laughs> hard to say but if it's any worse than what they're showing us here it had to be pretty bad in my humble opinion so anyway these are the black field lines now they're gaining energy from this other planet they're swapping magnetic fields and it's gaining magnetic energy because when you can see the black polar cap field lines how dark they get when there's a gap in between there's no magnetic field lines separating the two and this is when i think earth is gaining some extra energy it's pulling it from this other planet because it's trying to fight off nemesis which is behind and that other planet's probably trying to fight off nemesis too or it's i mean reacting in a similar fashion so here's nemesis see it's Interplanetary magnetic field lines making inroads all the way into, I'll have to start measuring this, 35 Earth radii away from the planet. So that's like 140,000 miles roughly making an inroads toward the planet. And this is before we had these high speed events take place. But we'll run it up to so it's i mean there's a lot of stuff to look at but you can see these waves of energy coming in from this other planet you can see the field lines stacking up over here you can see nemesis field lines trying to 
make inroads. There's one that reached up all the way up to here. It looks like maybe. I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on here, for real, for real. And there's when you see, look, got real strong, so it's getting ready to. Well, I don't know what it's getting ready to. At 1220, let's see what it was looking like at 1220. That's just plasma. Trying to get rid of that plasma. All that dark, deep blue stuff. It's all high speed plasma energy, high energy plasma. It's created from these interactions between these magnetic fields. If you watched that Primer Fields video linked underneath the Sweetleaf T500, 505, you'll see it. Oh, look at this, man. So look at all these black field lines. I'm backing it up there. And they're turning into interplanetary magnetic field lines. So there's, there's the Nemesis trying to creep in and grab hold of the planet, man. For real. I mean, I think so. Because it's got a coronal hole stream opened up. And, uh, and then look at all these field lines coming from the other side. So we're definitely in a squeeze play between the, these two celestial objects one is a brown dwarf sun twin binary twin sun to ours most likely and look at these deep purples the plasma that's some serious energy you see the black field lines are closing they're turning red trying to uh, buck up some energy to eject all this extra stuff that's coming at the planet and so here we go. That's the first uh, solar wind event at 1720. And we got something coming from the other side. So, I mean, Earth's definitely caught in the middle here. And there's some more. Just going kablooey, kablooey, kablooey. Look at that one. I mean... This is some serious, serious stuff here, <clears throat> and it's not over, so no telling how long it's going to take to get this over with. Let's see what the 16-something was when. Okay, there was 16. That was at 1908. Oh, we're not even up there yet. Well, we were, I guess. So there's 1908. That was the highest recorded one. <clears throat> so anyway, let me show you this real quick. Remember this morning I showed you that the uh, bow shop was going out to 16 Earth radii? Because these are Earth radii down here. And this is the same deal with this thing. Here's the equatorial plane. That's the Y cut that I showed you on Iswa. And here's the z cut or the x cut rather is that an x cut that's well, they call it it's a z cut there but they're calling it an x cut here for some reason but it's the same thing looking down on the planet but look how far out the bow shock is now and you can see these different waves of energy coming from that big planet these are density waves say density cut planes magnetosphere and it was out to about 16 this morning now it's out to 18 and uh, I'm not sure it can go out any further it looks like it's running up against something there yeah, I guess it probably can so here's 20 they don't have a calibrator beyond 20 and it's getting close to 20 look definitely out to 19 earth radii and the normal is 10 oh man real quick here's the discover you can see obviously that uh, nothing's going on here coming from the Sun this is all being generated by nemesis and this big planet in front of the earth so 
Uh, maybe I, I'm going to probably check this out again before I go to bed. It's only 8.30. God bless.